Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Google's Gemini AI, also known as Glick, as we have been talking about on the channel, is going to be everywhere in Chrome in the near future. And I'll leave the previous video I posted on Glick linked down below in the end screen if you'd like some more info. Now, apparently, there will be a Glick version of Chrome's profile picker where you can manage your Chrome profiles. And this is all according to a new experimental flag that's become available in Chrome Canary version 134, which is the latest preview version. So if we just head over to our experimental flags page in Chrome Canary and we type in Glick, G-L-I-C, over and above the initial flag, which enables the feature, which is that icon at the top, and you can also enable it in your um, system tray on Windows, we get Profile Picker Glick Testing, which is a new flag which I have already enabled. Allows testing the Glick version of the Profile Picker. So that description is quite, uh, um, you know, to the point. So basically, it will allow you to select a Chrome profile that's linked to your Google account, which will give uh, you a lot more personalization. So if we head to our profile picker, you'll see now that we've got choose a Chrome profile to use with Glick. And it says select the Chrome profile linked to your Google account to personalize your Glick experience. And then the small print here at the bottom says to add a new profile and use it with Glick, sign into Chrome with a different Google account. So basically what this means and could indicate is that Gemini Live on the desktop will likely learn your browsing habits and preferences to provide a more personalized experience, which I think is going to be met with a bit of debate. And obviously that's a privacy red flag, I think, for a lot of users. And my reason for saying this is if we just head out of this uh, profile manager quick, uh, quickly and we head into our settings, as we have been talking about on the channel, if we head into the Glick page, here we have data settings. So it can use your location to allow enhanced accuracy. It can use your microphone and current tab access. So it has access to your current tab. And yeah, we've got a couple of placeholders when on things to consider, which I mentioned in a previous video. So I think with Glick, this is going to cause, as mentioned, a bit of a privacy concern. But the good news is with this feature is you can turn everything off. So if you don't want to use the feature, just pop all of those toggles off and that should disable it um, in Google Chrome. So quite a lot of work is going into this. And as mentioned, you now have your um, profile picker where you can now pop a profile up and um, choose a Chrome profile to use with Glick. So they're personalizing this a lot more. So as I mentioned um, at the beginning of this video, it seems now that Google Gemini AR, also known as Glick, is going to be everywhere in Chrome, like it or hate it, in the near future. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.